the creativity never stops, so neither will we. <laughs> In the last part, we created this beautiful environment, and now it's time to fill it. <laughs> yeah, I want to achieve sweet and dangerous look in same time, so it will be very fun. I will draw here bones of some long dead creature, but it won't be so scary because I will use rounded rectangle. If you want to achieve friendly look, just use rounded shapes. Yes. This is the basic shape of the head and now I'm drawing the eyes. Now I will draw teeth. Maybe I can leave those two large seeds and draw a small seed between them. Ok, now I'm drawing the remains of the nose. I will group the head elements and rotate it. This creature die laying on his back. Ok, I finished the head and now it's time for body. More precisely, only a few bones of the body. I will use ellipse tool for that, swap fill and stroke. I will use pen tool to create a new point, somewhere here. Now I will use direct selection tool to delete this point and also this point. I will add round the cup and convert outline to stroke. And I will copy this bone with Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus F and rotate it vertically. The new part will be a bit darker. Ok, now I will copy those shapes a few times. It. it can be even better if I connect it with the ground. So I will use grass for that. By doing this I will achieve that the bones look like they have been laying here a long time. Ok, one more thing, I will delete those two lines, it is much better without them. Also I can increase it a bit. Yes, it's much better now. I will draw some bones under the ground too. First I will draw one circle and copy it. Then I will copy those two circles one more and draw a rectangle between them. This is the new bone, but it is boring, I need a better dynamic. So I will make this circle a bit lighter and increase it a bit. I will decrease this circle and it looks much better now. Now I will move it somewhere under the ground. After that I will draw a stone around them. Like you see, I connected ground surface and the bone with the help of this stone. Connect the bone with the help of this stone. Ah, <laughs> it looks much better now. I will do this one more here, but this time it will be a skull. I will draw it pretty much like the head of the creature. Now I will cover it with some stones.
the bones are finished. In almost every game like this, you can find some coins or something to collect in the level. In this game it will be food and it will give energy to my hero. So I will draw a round rectangle and paint it in red. Now I will draw a circle. I will copy it and decrease it a bit. I will use skin color for it. Now I need one more circle and this will be white. This circle represents one part of the bone. And I will draw another part. Ok, I finished the meat that gives energy to my hero. I will copy it a few times around the place. Now I can draw hearts to represent the life of the character. Hence I will draw around the rectangle, copy it and rotate by 19 degrees. Ok, I will select those shapes and use the wide in pathfinder, ungroup it and delete unnecessary parts. This is the easiest way to get the heart shape. Now I will add some glow to the heart. Cool, and one darker circle in the heart background will be great. My hero will have three lives. After the character eats the meat, the energy level increases, so I will draw one line to represent the level of energy. Ok, this part is finished too, we have one more part and after that this game series will come to an end. But don't worry, just stay tuned and subscribe, because the best is yet to come. Peace.